Structured Play, Teaching Impulse Control Through Games. Step 1. Tug, Drop. Engage your dog in play with a toy. Encourage them to chase it by making the toy dance and twitch on the floor like a prey animal. If your dog or puppy is biting at your hands or clothes, simply redirect them to the toy. If it's happening repeatedly, consider getting a larger toy to help set them up for success. After a few seconds of tug, sprinkle some high value <laughs> treats on the floor in front of your dog. They will intuitively open their mouth to collect the treats and you can remove the toy while they're snuffling. Repeat these two steps, engaging your dog in play and then intermittently cueing, drop it and sprinkling treats on the floor for them <laughs> to find. You should enter into a nice tug drop rhythm, engaging your dog in play and then asking them to relinquish the toy. If your dog won't drop the toy when you present the food, consider getting higher value food Stop items it. like hot dogs or cheese. Inversely, if your dog isn't interested in the toy once they realise that food is in the mix, try using low value food like biscuits or popcorn. Step 2. Say please. Once your dog can tug and drop consistently, we can start adding in a say please behaviour. Ask your dog to drop, then before engaging in play, Bring a treat to their nose and see if you can lure them into a sit. Good. Once they do, they get the treat, and then a double reinforcer of play. Let's see that again. After asking them to drop, sit. we ask them to say please to Good. engage in play. Treat them for saying please, and then release them to play again. Three. Lots of dogs struggle with impulse control when in high states of arousal, so at this point your dog might be jumping up, mouthing at the toy, or barking to engage in play. Common mistakes made here are to just give in and play with the dog, maybe punish or correct the dog, say no, try to push the dog down and away, or even look at the dog with a stern expression. For most dogs, this will just be confusing or actually reinforce their attention-seeking, demanding behavior. To show our dogs that this is not how they ask to play, you can remove the toy, place it far out of their reach, or step or turn away from them to show them that that's not the way to get what they want. If ignoring them won't work and your dog is particularly persistent, Try tethering them to a heavy piece of furniture by a backlit harness. That way you can just step away from them when they're offering unwanted behaviours and wait them out for something more appropriate. Make sure that the second they offer a nice say please behaviour, you mark free to release them and engage them in play to show them that that's the appropriate way to get what they want. So hopefully now we have a dog that will offer a sit to say please before being free. released to play. Over repetitions, you can start to stretch the amount of time in between your dog saying please and you releasing them to play. This is called adding Three. duration. At the end of step two, we have dogs that will tug, drop, then offer a sit and wait Ooh. calmly until released to tug Three. again. Drop it. Good. Good boy. Three. Step three, adding distractions. Make sure to warm up your dog by working through steps one and two and get into a nice tug drop routine. When you think they're ready, we're gonna start adding some distractions to their say please behavior. Wait for your dog to offer their default sit or down, then slowly start to introduce some movement of the toy or an alternate distraction. If they hold their sit, free. mark free and release to play as before. Let's see that again. Good. We get the Doggy. default sit, we add a small distraction, if the dog tolerates the distraction, free. we mark free Good and boy. release to play. One Good more time, job. we drop, Good then dog. we sit, then we introduce the distraction, Good boy. Free. and then release to play. Over repetitions, you can start to increase the amount of distraction. Maybe you're going to move the toy around in more exciting ways, or you'll make Good your dog free. sit and wait for longer periods of time. Get creative here and see how much your dog can tolerate, marking free and releasing them to free. play to reinforce this calm impulse control. If you challenge your dog too much and they break their sit, don't worry. Oh. Just hold the toy out of their reach and wait, wait for them to offer it again. If your dog is repeatedly breaking their sit, you've made it too hard. Remember, we're trying to set them up for success, not push them repeatedly into free. failing the exercise.
Despite some myths that dogs need hours and hours of high energy exercise daily, for some dogs, particularly those struggling with impulse control and arousal, about 30 minutes of structured play a day, alongside yes, other speak. appropriate low arousal activities, should be enough to meet their physical needs while also engaging their brain to develop new impulse control and arousal habits, even when in really high speak. states of excitement. Thanks for watching. Ready? Let's get training.